In this video, we're going to cover how to use a potentiometer to control the brightness of an LED. So before we get started, go ahead, pause this video and build this circuit. So at this point, you should have uh, your circuit built and it should look very similar to mine. Um, a few things to cover. Uh, we're going to be using this, um, these pins here, and these are going to be different for us. It says right above it, analog in. Um, and then we're also going to be using uh, an output device, an LED. This LED has a ground connection, and the positive um, leg is connected to pin uh, 3, which has a wave signal in front of it. And we need that in order to control the brightness of the LED because we're going to be sending an analog signal, a range between 0 and 255. So um, again, this needs to be plugged into any of the pins that have a wave in front of it. And then um, this right here is going to be um, our input, right? So we're going to be adjusting this. And as we adjust this input, it's going to output to our LED. And so when I turn this dial, it should go from the LED LED being off to um, gradually brighter and brighter and brighter and then all the way to the max brightness when this point of my potentiometer hits this point right here. And so a few things to note here, the left um, pin right here is connected to ground, the one on the right is connected to power, and the one in the middle is going to be connected to A1. It can be connected to any of these A uh, pins. And the major difference is um, that this is going to be an analog input. So we've been using things like a button, which is going to be on or off, uh, a PIR sensor, which is detecting motion or not detecting motion, so it would send a high or low. Uh, and so those things are uh, digital inputs, and this is the first time we're going to be using an analog input. So in order to um, program this, we're going to click on code. And the first thing we're going to do is um, something similar to what we did before, which is we're going to create a variable. And we're going to abbreviate this to be POT, but it's going to stand for potentiometer. And we're going to say um, POT state. Kind of like button state or PIR state. We'll click OK. And now we have um, these blocks to use. And we're going to use this one right here. And um, I'm going to say set pot state, which is the variable or the container or box, um, set it equal to um, the input value of this potentiometer. So I'll just go to input and I'll look for um, one of these um, blocks to use here. And I'm not going to use digital uh, a pin, uh, the, the, the uh, digital read. I'm gonna actually going to be using the analog read. So read analog pin, drag that one into here. And then um, uh, in the drop down menu, connect it to whatever pin I have my pot connected to, which is A1. So I'm going to click on this and choose A1. So again, this variable is going to be assigned to equal whatever value my pot is, my potentiometer is. And then um, we are going to. Um, uh, output so we're going to go to output here and we are going to say um, we're not going to use this one because this is the built-in uh, LED um, which is also connected to 13 we're not going to use this one because this can only set to high or low we're going to use the third one here uh, the third one giving us the ability to choose a specific pin and so our output our LED is connected to pin 3 so we need to make sure it's on 3 and then we can set it to a value right here and remember the range I get to choose is between 0 and 255 the problem here is the range for a pot is 0 to 1023 so what we can do here is we'll use one of these blocks right here under math um, called the mapping uh, block or mapping function and you can see that we can um, change our um, map um, uh, our value from something to a new range so we want to send it from something to our new range so to our range of 0 to 255 so I'm going to change this to be 0 to 255 and the thing is um, this right here 
is going to be my variable, pot state. So remember, this pot is going to be anywhere from 0 to 10, 23. And whatever that value is, I'm going to change that value to fit within the range of my LED, 0 to 255. So I just need to go to variables, go to my pot state, bring that in. And what that's going to do is it's going to convert that number, whatever it is, from 0 to 10, 23, and uh, basically scale it to fit my new range. Um, so now if I click on code and I click on start simulation I can see that my pot is all the way off and my LED is off so that's a good sign so far and as I gradually increase this here I should see my LED light up now I don't see it lighting up very well and that is because if I click on my resistor here I forgot to change this to be 220 not kilo ohms but rather ohms so I'll hit stop simulation and I'll hit start simulation again and then I'll try it one more time and there you go I can see it working much better so that's how you use a potentiometer to control the brightness of an LED